Welcome everyone, in this video I'm going to be covering every single little fact I know about Rise Republic, so get comfy, it's going to be a lot. And the information in this video just keeps getting cooler and cooler, so make sure you watch the entire thing. Now, let's get into it already. Start with some more basic info. Rise Republic is releasing on February 25th, 2021. Pretty soon, even though to me it seems so far away. Rise Republic will be set in the US in the most iconic national parks, but don't worry, I'll be covering every single one later in this video. Before we begin this video, please check to make sure you subscribed. It really helps out the channel and you get the best Rise Republic videos. Chapter 1 Freestyle. It's all about tricks. Freestyle is a combination of in air rotations, trick moves, and grind moves to create a variety of possibilities. There will be a manual mode which does not assist you in tricks or the landing of tricks. They say quote, your successes and failures are in your hands. Mastering manual mode will help you get more points since I assume it's because it's a lot harder. So now we're going to talk about rotations. The easiest rotations will be front or back side spins. There, then a level of difficulty after that is off axis rotations. You'll need a lot of air time for these tricks. Off axis rotations include corks, rodeos, bio, twister, and more. But there are two different types of off axis rotations. There's a flip to spin and a spin to flip. Flip to spin is where you flip and then merge the spinning, and you can land at any 180 degrees, meaning forwards or backwards down the landing. Spin to flip is when you are upside down, you will spin. The gear will affect the tricks that you can do. The higher agility of your gear, the faster you're gonna be able to spin and flip. Trick moves. The gear you wear will impact the tricks you're able to perform. Each gear carries out a set of 12 unique tricks. Some of the tricks you'll be, you'll be able to choose from are Ski Snow Park, Ski Off Track, Snowboard Snow Park, Snowboard Off Track, Bike Slope Style, Bike Free Ride. This means there are 72 unique tricks in the game of Riders Republic. So this is now how grinds are going to work. In Auto Mode, you just pop onto the rail and the game will balance you, get your height right, your trajectory, everything is going to be taken care of. But in manual mode, it's all in your hands. You have to get all of that, the trajectory, the landing, the balance on the rail and getting off, it's gonna be all in your, all in your hands. Now we're gonna be talking about variety and combos. The first time you perform a freestyle move in your run, you're on a bonus. It'll be granted only once per run, or once per move per run. This is incentive to explore every rotation, trick, move, and grind to maximize your run and earn as many bonuses as you can. Controls. You can map your own controls and there'll be three preset controls to choose from depending on your preferred playstyle. This is new because in Steep you couldn't map your controls and in the centers you also could on controller. So for all the controller players um, like me, I think I'm going to use controller for this game. This is going to be so much nicer. It's going to be super cool. Here are some methods of transportation to get around the world of Riders Republic. The map is available to explore and seamlessly traverse between different regions. You of course can use your bike, snowboard, skis, wingsuit, rocket wingsuit, etc. All the basic sports to get around. But they also have designated transportation vehicles. So far, I know there are at least paramotors and snowmobiles, but I'm not sure if there's going to be even more. There will also be helicopter tickets, like in Steep, but I'm not sure how you'll be able to get these yet. I know if you buy the gold or ultimate version of the game, you do get 20 to start though, so that's how I know they are in the game. Okay, the next part is one of my favorite things of this game. Ride a snowmobile to reach a snowy summit, and then once you reach the top, you switch to skis to get out onto the slopes. You take a massive jump and realize, oh shoot, I won't land this. You can instantly switch to a wingsuit and glide away. Here's something I think is so cool. You can take the paramotor super high to the air, then switch to a bike, do some epic flips, and land. There are endless creative possibilities that will make for some sweet videos when the game does release. So now I'm going to be talking every single little bit of info that you need about bikes. So we're going to first start off talking about their design philosophy for bikes. They want the game to feel comfortable to new players, while also cater to some more hard coded players. They say a lot of effort went into this, like other sports in the game, to make the experience approachable and fun for all players, um, whatever skill level you are. These are tricks and bike types. So tricks are at the core of biking in Rise Republic. And they, they say, this is where your skill will shine. The gear you have will impact the tricks you do, as I said earlier. For bikes, you'll have different types. Downhill, road, slope style, and free ride bikes. The slope style and free ride bikes will actually have different sets of tricks. The slope style bike is a lightweight bike allowing for quick tricks such as bar spins and tail whips. This is the bike you want for any tricks that require agility to pull off. If you're looking to fit in a lot of quick high movement tricks, then this is the bike for you. Only $60 on Ubisoft Store. The free ride bike is a bit heavier and is better for tricks that will require more airtime. This bike is exactly what you're looking for if you're living, if you wanted to live your best Superman life. You won't be able to pull off some of the more agile tricks of this one, 
so make sure you have the time to pull all your tricks off. For all tricks, there are two ways to do them. Let me explain. If you're new to the game or just looking for a more casual experience, you're probably going to want to use auto mode. Auto mode allows you to only start the trick and then the game basically complete the rest. If you're looking for a harder challenge or you're just looking um, or just a more experienced player, you'll want to switch to manual mode. The control is all in your hands and the, success and the successes and failures are all your fault, so you can't blame it on the game, unfortunately. Um, another benefit of using manual mode is it gets you the highest score since it's a lot harder to control. So now I'm going to be talking about Rise Republic on the next generation consoles like the Xbox Series X, S, and the PS5. This is directly coded from them pretty much. You'll be able to get 4K resolution at 60 frames a second letting you experience the rush of every race, jump, and trick with HDR compatible screens. You will also get to experience it all as if you were there with a wider range of colors and crisper visuals. Direct storage technology on the Xbox Series X, I definitely know what that is, shreds, shreds up loading time for a smoother ride. And don't worry, if you purchase an Xbox One version of the game, not only will you, will you be able to upgrade to the Xbox Series X or S, a version at no extra cost, cost you'll be able to play with others in the same console family. Now we're going to be talking about the PlayStation 5. Again, this is all directly quoted from them, using their fancy language here. Race and ride through the national parks in the United States in 4K at 60 frames per second. HDR compatible screens offer a wider range of cover colors and crisper visuals so you can experience every moment as if you were there and faster loading times make sure you spend more time boarding skiing and flying if you get yourself a playstation 4 version of the game you can upgrade to the playstation 5 at no additional cost when you get your new console sure. now we're going to be talking about the ultimate and the gold edition of the game ultimate edition includes the base game, of course, it was kind of a scam if you didn't get that. The year one pass, which gets you exclusive additional content. Um, looks like we're gonna have a BMX. Actually, yeah, it is confirmed we're gonna have BMX if we get the year one pass. I just got the standard edition, but I might buy the year one pass just to get the BMX. You're also gonna be getting the cosmic pack, which I'm pretty sure it's a rocket wingsuit and a rocket bike. Um, and then a lot of cosmetic packs. And then you're also gonna be getting some um, cosmetic packs. The gold edition is the same thing as the ultimate edition, except for you only get the year one pass, you don't get all the cosmetics. Rise Republic takes place in the national parks in America. The parks include Mammoth Mountain, Yosemite, Grand Teton, Sequoia, Bryce, Bryce Canyon, Zion, and Canyonlands. Ubisoft chose these parks because of their quote, majesty, wonder, size, uniqueness, and beauty. They want these places where people can ski, bike, or both, or any other sports. These places will be super fun to explore and ride. Let me know if you've been to any of these spots in real life before. Ubisoft actually had 20 ideas for places, but they ended up choosing only the seven listed before. Then they had to actually recreate their individual re geology, which I think is pretty cool, and it shows how much effort went into this game. They said one challenge they had for this was matching the different parts together, because as you may know, in real life, the locations aren't actually next to each other. They had to do a lot of research on these places to make them feel real, even researching things like the soil in each location. They say that you may encounter wildlife, but they are shy from players. There is also going to be human, er, humanized areas in the map, and they have listed a few examples. Racing and trick tracks, snow parks, and in the trailer you can see a few examples of these. Oh, and people will also be riding in the map real time next to you. You might find some abandoned relics all over the world, and if you're curious, they suggest you get closer and see what they're about. They say they could hold a surprise or two for you. So, I'm not exactly sure what this means, but this will be super interesting when we start exploring when the game does come out. Overall, I am so excited for this game, and I'll make the best videos when it comes out. So, if you're interested in the best videos, please subscribe, and if you're already subscribed, thank you so much. Goodbye.